You know, as they say, practice makes perfect. So I'm out here getting a little practice with photography. What have you guys done with my microphone? Sabine? Is this you? Hey girl, come here. Milo. Hey buddy, I missed you. Did you like your box that I gave you? Uh, let's get this microphone off the floor. Okay. Okay. Yeah, send me a screenshot and then just call me when you get a chance so we can keep talking. Okay, I will. Alright. Alright. Okay. Bye. What's up, guys? That was my sister. I'm gonna do a little um, video shoot for her channel on the weekend, so we were kind of talking about that, planning a little bit for that. But uh, basically, I just got back from work and I had the opportunity to go by the park and um, I've been looking into this software called Lightroom. It's a software for editing photos for like Instagram or any kind of thing like that. So the cool thing about the software is um, it has a lot of options as far as color grading. And so I've been doing a little bit of research and getting educated about color grading and stuff like that. So I kind of want to show you guys, I just went out to the park, took a couple of photos and uh, so I can get start getting some practice with the color grading and all that. So I kind of want to show you guys real quick what I did. So let's check it out. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is the first picture that I took. It is completely unprocessed, just straight out of the camera. Uh, the camera that I used was on my phone and this is the processed uh, version of the picture. I've been using uh, an app called Lightroom. It's a really good app. Um, basically what I did was I turned up the contrast a little bit and um, the highlights and pretty much a little bit of orange and teal on the color wheel. I turned those up a little bit and then obviously the vignetting, you can see the vignetting on uh, the, the picture. Um, this is another picture that I took and, and this is the one straight off of the camera and as you can see nothing too special about it you know it's just like a uh, pretty base picture and then you know this one is I cropped it a little bit and then I, I also did the vignetting a little bit I upped the contrast a little bit uh, took down the saturation a little bit of the highlights um, so I was able to make it look a little better. Now I, as a beginner, I'm not an expert at color grading. I'm still learning a lot. So as a beginner, you have to be very careful to not overdo it. Um, if you overdo it, you can just completely crush an image and especially if you have a, a camera that doesn't have very high resolution. Um, but these are just some other examples of, you know, I'm still learning, like I said, but this, I found this app very, very helpful. The cool thing about this app is basically, um, this is what it looks like. And you can organize your photos, you can put them all in one album. And basically, let's say like, once you get a photo looking the way you want it to look, it has all the settings, you can basically copy the settings. And you can select which ones you want to copy. But if you set if you select copy all and then you hit on another p photo then basically you can just paste it onto that other photo so what this does is it allows you to have a very uniform look um, throughout all your pictures if you're trying to create an album you want them and let's say you shot them all outside in the same location under the same conditions you want them all to kind of be uh, have a similar look and so here I'm, I'm applying the same filter to another picture. 
Uh, and it's that easy. Once you set one of the pictures exactly how you like it, you can just copy, you can save your settings, you can copy and paste onto another picture. And so your color grading process uh, is a lot quicker. Obviously, you can tweak a lot further from there. This app is very complete. It has all sorts of, I mean, color wheel, saturation, hue, lumerance, like... Um, it has definitely has a lot of tools that you can work with. You can definitely bump up the contrast, the highlights, shadows, uh, whites, blacks, exposure, all that stuff. The curve, you can mess with the curve. Um, your color wheel, I mean, it's, it's pretty complete. It's a lot more complete than say like Instagram. Instagram has very, very basic tools, but if you don't want to dive too deep into color grading, they have presets. So you can use any of these presets um, and then you can tweak from there. I mean, definitely, like I said, you don't want to overdo it. You can do some cropping too. I mean, there, there's all sorts of things you can do, but it's a learning process and you, you get better as you go. You can learn from a lot of people. Obviously, once you're ready to share the photos, you can, you can save to device or you can share them that way and that's pretty much it i mean it, this app is really complete so yeah that's why i really like this app um it's very very useful for someone that's trying to up their instagram game a little bit um the cool thing about it is it it makes it easy to keep consistency throughout all the pictures that you're going to post if you shot uh, at a location and you're, you're going for a consistent look this is a really good way to have that consistent look because you can just copy and paste through all your pictures and it also has a lot of color grading options I'm still learning a lot about uh, color this color grading and there's a lot that entails that it entails but the cool thing is it, it's a very good tool it's free and um, I would highly recommend it for anyone that's trying to uh, learn a little bit about color grading it goes right on your phone it's very easy to save pictures. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with it. I'm gonna keep learning on it. And uh, I would also recommend to you guys uh, DaVinci Resolve. If you're looking for software to edit videos, it's very, very good. It's got a lot of the features that Adobe Premiere and Final Cut Pro are gonna have. It's a very complete program, but the only thing is you have to make sure that your computer has a fast enough processor to basically edit videos so that's gonna depend on how good your how much RAM your computer has your processor your graphics card all those things but it's a very good starting point for anyone that wants to start editing videos so that's it I'm gonna keep uh, working on my color grading uh, just a little practice because I want to get a little bit into photography I'm right now I'm saving up for a, a Canon um, 1DX Mark II it's a very expensive camera it's like I think it's like 3500 without the lens, so, um, but I'm planning on shooting music videos on it, commercials, getting into photography a little more, so I'm looking forward to that, but for now I'm just trying to learn softwares, learn about video editing, learn about color grading, all these things. Um, there's a YouTuber that I've been watching, Peter McKinnon, I'll link him down below. I've been getting a lot of really good tips from him, he uses that exact camera, but, and actually he was the one that recommended the Lightroom app. So I would recommend it for anyone that's trying to do a little better on Instagram and um, because the Instagram's good and it has good filters but it's very limited what you can do on Instagram as far as like getting a, a picture the way you want it to look exactly the way you want it to look. So also it's a bit of a challenge because whenever you're starting the you have the tendency to you know to crank up too much saturation or to kind of like go overboard with the effects and subtlety is key you always when you color grade you want to make sure that you're making subtle changes and also the best thing to do is to take pictures in a flat profile so if your camera has the option to shoot in log or uh, with a flat profile you do you shoot it with that you take away all presets and all um, filters if you will and then you take it into a software like Lightroom and that's where you really fine-tune and then you can get that perfect image you want now a lot of it is personal preference you just gotta play with it and uh, make sure that um, make sure you get it exactly the way you want it um, 
So there's some basic things that you can learn about color grading. For example, for skin tones, uh, orange and teal are two opposite color, uh, two opposite colors in the color wheel. So I've learned that for better skin tones, you know, it's good to kind of like separate those spectrums a little bit. But yeah, there's a lot to learn about this, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Um, it's very interesting. I love the science behind it. And uh, speaking of science, that's why I really like uh, Canon cameras because their color science is really good straight off the camera if you're not wanting to do a lot of color grading in post. If you just want to take a picture and it looks pretty good with without any kind of color grading, I recommend Canon cameras. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys kind of like my learning process and hopefully one day I can look back at this video and see how much I progressed and how much how better I've gotten the thing is like I'm trying to get better every day so yeah hopefully you guys found this helpful in some way hopefully this app can can really help you guys create some better pictures and stuff like that so I'll see you guys next time